Welcome back to another tutorial from Selling Games. Today I will create a mesh that represents a 3D wave. This can be useful in situations for showing cloth or water. On the other side, it's not the optimum solution. Now I start by creating a C sharp script called Wave. We need an area of vector tree for the vertices, two int variables for the width and depth of the mesh, and a float variable for the height of the vertices. Then I create a private int list for the triangles. Inside the start function, we create our vector tree array. The size of the array will be x times y. Let's also create a mesh variable and make a new object of it. Now I iterate through the vertices array and create a new vector tree for each of them. The x value will be the remainder of j to x. Z y to 0 for now, and z will be the division result of j to x. In another loop, I'll add the triangles to our list. For the if section, we want to go until j is less than vertices.length minus x, which avoids going for the last vertices row. Now I want to continue the loop if we have reached the last vertex in a row, because I don't want to create a face between the last vertex in a row with the first vertex in the next row. So I write if remainder of j to x is equal to x minus 1, then just continue the loop. For the triangles, I add the vertex number to the list. The order must be clockwise and as a result, the first triangle numbers will be j, j plus x and j plus 1. By now we have created our first triangle, but we also need another one to complete our square. So it will be j plus 1, j plus x and j plus x plus 1. As of now, I think everything was clear enough. Now we have to update our mesh that we created earlier. I set the mesh that vertices equal to the vertices and mesh the triangles to trees that to array. I get the mesh filter component and assign our created mesh to it. We also need a public material variable to assign it to the mesh renderer component. Getting back to Unity, I create a material and an empty game object. Attach mesh filter, mesh renderer and wave components to it. I reference the material and set x and y to 40. Hit play and immediately you can see the result. Now it's time to add the waviness to our mesh. Inside the update function, I create a for loop and go less than vertices.length. Again, for each of the vertices, I create a new vector tree, but the x and z variables will be the same. This time, our y has to change. I create a separate function for it that returns a float and takes x and z as its arguments. In one line, I return the sinus of x plus the cosine of z. Remember that vector tree is an struct type variable, so we have to resign it to our mesh. I write mesh that vertices equal to vertices and I recalculate the mesh normals. In Unity, set the height value to 1 and it's cool. We can already see our waves but not moving. So I just add the time dot time to our x and z in the sine wave. Great, now our wave is moving. For the last part, I want to also add the parallel noise wave. It's as simple as a sine wave and can be done in one line, except that it takes one more argument for the scale of the wave that is multiplied by the z and x. I replace the sine wave with the parallel wave and for the scale I pass in 0.5. Now in Unity you can see cooler results now. If I change the color to light blue instead of purple, you get the cartoonish water. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be watching the comments if you have any questions. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next time.